Hey everybody. So I'm gonna have a mini chit chat on my way back home. Okay, so what I wanna talk about, I've been wanting to do a video about this topic because I know that everybody may have some type of toxic person that you have in your life. May it be a partner, may it be a parent, a friend, anybody you know we all have toxic people that we deal with on a day day-to-day -day basis and i just wanted to talk about it now personally i guess i can give you a little example of the toxic person that i've been dealing with my life for my whole life is my own father our relationship is a bit crazy and I know there's a lot of people out there that have experienced this or ex or is experiencing this now. I mean, I'm I'm kind of still dealing with it. I'm it's just crazy. Anyways, toxic people no matter who they are don't deserve to share space in your life. I don't care if they're a parent or a sister, a brother, a cousin, a friend. They don't deserve space in your life because those type of people bring your vibrations down. They keep you down because they're down. So one thing I, I wanna say is you have to learn how to let those people go and love them from a distance. And that's one of my biggest struggles because it is my father and that is my only living parent it's hard for me to, you know, love him from a distance because he is toxic. And, you know, once I lost my mother, um, I felt like I had to do, you know, really repair my relationship with my father because he is my only living parent. But... As the years go on, my mother's been gone for 10 years now. Well, it'll be 11 years this year in 2020. But I always felt guilty that if I didn't help my father, that I'm not helping the only parent that I have left in my life. And as I gotten older, that guilt is slowly melting away because I realized we are both an adult. We're both adults. We both have the same 24 hours in a day. And although you might be struggling a lot more than me, I have a whole family. I have children. I have a husband. So <clears throat> I can't take care of you. I don't have three kids. I only have two. So I can't always just take care of you when you need me. I don't mind helping my father, but I want him to understand that I'm not obligated just because you are my parent. And I want a lot of people to understand that toxic people will make you feel guilty that you're not helping them. And that's not fair because me helping you is not an obligation just because you are someone close to me. I don't have to do anything for anybody but me and my children, of course, because I birthed them and I have to do stuff for them because they're my children. But toxic people can really, really drain you and drain your energy. And I realized that with my father, he, he really used to drain my energy and when when i would say no that's why i've really learned and been stern on being learning how to say no i've said i used to say yes to everything but now as i gotten older i say no and i don't care that you are mad because i said no no means no you know so I will not continue to feel guilty for my father's situation because he's an adult. He chose that situation. He has had more help than I had. 
We were in the same situation when my mother passed away. Having nothing. But we both got help. And the difference is what you do with that help. If you keep feeling, you not keep feeling, but if you keep dwelling in the what you don't have or dwelling in sadness and stuff and pity yourself, you're gonna be in the same space you were when you started. So the difference between me and him is that I used to help and I bettered myself because I wanted a better life for myself and I knew that my mother would have wanted me to have a better life. And so I took that and let that motivate me to be a better woman. And I'm so thankful that I took that approach when my mother passed away than to just dwell on her being gone because that's a part of life and I had to accept that uh, a long time ago that that's a part of life and even though she's not here and she's not experiencing all the many blessings that I have and I wish she was here to experience all of that but it was just in God's plan that she wasn't because I, I probably wouldn't be the be in the position I am now I don't know where I would be if my mother was still here I mean I'm sure I would have been doing something great but I wouldn't have my children I wouldn't have my husband that I have so I'm, I'm, I'm I accept God's plan and I just wish that my father would do the same but I know I, I done went on about my whole life, but um, just basically toxic people, they don't deserve space in your life. And that's pretty much what I want to say. They don't deserve it. I don't care how close they are to you. They don't deserve the space in your head, in your mind, in your body, in your soul. They don't deserve space in your life. All right, well, I'm almost at home. So I'm just gonna end this video. But I hope this video helps somebody because we all have toxic people in our life. And I just want you all to learn how to, <clears throat> learn how to love them from a distance and sometimes learn how to let them go completely. And I'm gonna come back and watch this because I need a reminder often because it's hard for me to, to to completely cut people off that I love but if they don't mean any good for my life or for my children's life then they don't need to be in my life you know so I hope this helped somebody out there that's going through a similar situation and you know have a, have a blessed Sunday because it is a beautiful Sunday Alright, well I'm going to cut this off.